Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. I freaking love social media. Get this, this NBA player, Austin Rivers, DM'd me yesterday and goes, hey man, I'm a fan of the channel. I'm like, that's freaking cool, having fans of all different professions. And it turns out he's a massive car guy. Get this, he has a 458 Special, a Ferrari F12 TDF. These are some serious car enthusiast vehicles. And today, he invited me to the delivery of his brand new GT2 RS. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, at Vehicle Virgins, make sure to do so. We're gonna be posting some sick content on the GT2 RS. This is one of the most hyped cars available today, and I might get the chance to drive it. Let's head to Beverly Hills. So I've been to the Pagani dealership in Newport Beach. I didn't know they had one in Beverly Hills. Apparently it just opened. They've got a crazy inventory. I looked online, there's a LaFerrari for sale, there's a Bugatti, there's a P1. It's ridiculous, but today is all about that GT2 RS. Yeah, this is nuts, dude. Wow. This is crazy. First Porsche, man. Yeah, not a bad one to start off with. Jesus. First Porsche. That's cool you're even able to get one considering I know. you hadn't owned any. I know, I know. You know the right people, yeah, basically. Yeah, the right people. Yeah. My first question was, was like, for me, like, personally, man, like, I'm a Ferrari guy. Uh-huh. Like, that's just, I, I am, like, although, I just, if I can't, if I can't be, right, wheel. if I can't be comfortable in it, then I don't really yeah, want it. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Like, I always wanted an Aston Martin DB5. Uh-huh. It was, like, my favorite car. No and I went and got one, and it just crushed my soul. My knees were, like, breaking that the steering wheel. Sucks. Yeah, I couldn't get into it, man. So I was just like, this is... A Countach is one of the worst cars for that. Congrats, dude. This is gnarly. It, Stradman. Uh, uh, Alejandro. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, you name it. TG, TV. I mean, see-through glass. I watch... Everyone stuff. <laughs> That's Every awesome. Every video you guys release. No, dude. I watch them all. I mean, it's just, I, I love, I love yeah, all yeah. of them. That's awesome. It kind of takes me away from everything I got to deal with on a video. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's a stress reliever. And like a lot of people who make a ton of money will buy a bunch of cool cars. Right. But people don't buy a 458 Special, a GT2 RS. Those are like, right, right, right. if you love cars and you want raw cars. Right. Like, so what's the deal with the GT2 RS? Why is there so much hype behind this car? Well, simply put, this is the most intense, highest performance, quickest lap time Porsche currently on sale today. It starts at $294,000, but if you're able to get one for anywhere near MSRP, that is a miracle. These things are going for $200,000, $300,000 over sticker easily. Now, why is that? It's essentially a GT3 RS version of a 911 Turbo S. So we've got that racing heritage, that rawness of the GT3 RS combined with the turbocharged layout in the Turbo S. But we've got 24% more boost in the GT2 RS as compared to the Turbo S, which gives it 700 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. carbon fiber seats. This has a YSOC package. So the $31,000 option, which for the most part, you're not really getting $31,000 worth of performance. Sure, you get magnesium wheels, you get a carbon fiber roof, a bunch of carbon in the interior, and this awesome badge, as well as embroidery up here in the seat. The best thing is resale value. If you don't get a YSOC package GT2 RS and you want to sell the car in two, three years, you made a mistake. And of course, it's going to be faster around the track. Drive around, then I'll let you drive. Cool. See what you think. You, 
you've driven one though, I'm sure. I haven't actually. Oh, so this is perfect. Yeah, no, this is like get this out fantastic. Buyer's gun. Wow, this thing is stunning, man. You know what? I'm like still trying to grasp that I have one. And then we go around and block a couple times. I have no like history with Porsche. So yeah, it's yeah. Like, no, it's a pretty big deal. Right, four or five months ago, this was like unrealistic. This yeah, was like yeah. an idea. Like I, I used to go to bed picturing like if I had my dream garage, what would I have? This is one of them. Da, 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 da. Dude, this is that, in my dream garage. Right. <laughs> now that it's here, it's like I can't believe I'm actually. I'm very lucky, man. I'm very thankful that I get to be in one of these. This is. Thank you that you're here too, man. This, no, is, this awesome, is awesome, dude. I watch all your videos, like I've said. So this <laughs> is this is pretty crazy. cool, man. You would be surprised. Like I know, like it's like anything, right? Like sometimes I, I go in places and people are like big fan. I'm like, oh wow, you know. But you sometimes expect it because you play basketball and stuff. But yeah, like, sure. You guys have no idea the impact. Like I, we watch a lot of guys like watch your guys' stuff. That's man. Like, so sick. That's so awesome. Yeah, you make great content. Man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank no you. Yeah, we share a similar passion for cars, and it's not just like. He emailed me and was like, hey, I've got a bunch of cool cars come to this delivery. The cars that you have right. are the type of cars that somebody who actually is genuinely an enthusiast would buy. Nobody buys. <laughs> Let me just figure this out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me just figure this out. I can't drive like you guys. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. This... Nobody just buys a 458 Special, an F12 TDF, a a tuned Bentayga and then a GT2 RS yeah, unless you to, are My a, financial advisor is about to jump off the tallest building. No way. You, you bought a bunch of cars that are all going to go up in value That's minus I've the Bentayga. To, he, he, exactly. And I try to tell him this because my previous past of cars are horrendous. Yeah. As far as they've all gotten, you know. Yeah, yeah. You do the typical, no disrespect, but the basketball, you know, like you yeah, get yeah. a Rolls Royce, you yeah, get a, yeah. and they just plummet yeah. in value. <laughs> and so every car, I, I try to explain to him, like, no, these cars will go up in value over time. He's like, I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, well, you know. for, for a car like this and, and all the Ferraris that you have, absolutely. The interior of this thing is gorgeous. Just carbon fiber, Alcantara, yeah, leather. Red. Sometimes it can get hot. I will say this. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you, know, you got sweaty hands. Oh yeah, the Y stock package also comes with those carbon fiber paddles. I've never seen yeah, that. They're on tiny too. Look yeah. how small compared to like I got the extended ones in the four five eight. So I'm used to like. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure you have the same thing. You exactly. Just, this you get like, on the Porsches. They're all really small. You gotta find it. That's one thing. It would have been kind of cool on the GT2 RS to have bigger ones. Just right. To like, I wonder why is that just a? It can't be a weight, especially because it's car. Now, you it's imagine. just probably a Porsche thing. They're like, we want to keep it minimalistic. Right. But this car, I mean, has just shattered records. So Nurburgring lap time of right. six minutes and forty-seven seconds. Right. The Performante had the record. Right. Then this destroyed it, uh, and then that wasn't enough for Porsche they just I don't know if you saw the video of the 919 race car yeah just set the literal fastest time of all time the previous record was set in 1983 and hadn't been beaten and then they beat it by 50 seconds so five minutes 50. five minutes and 19 seconds for the race car oh I did not know that yeah and the, the that. previous record was 611 by another race car That's <laughs> For like the average person, I try to explain like, oh, I got a new Porsche. Like, oh yeah, my, my friend has a Porsche. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, I'm trying to like, my teammates like, oh yeah, I'm about to buy, a, I'm about to buy a Porsche. I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. Like, this is like a different type of Porsche. And the guy's yeah. like, I'll race you in my uh, my Hellcat. boxer. He goes, yeah, yeah. Hellcat. I'll, I'll race you. I was like, oh, you, you don't get it, man. Like, yeah. It's just the knowledge isn't there. Yeah. So that's where it's like, that's why I'm almost happy it is because that way I get to go to this side and talk to you guys. Yeah, for so sure. It's like, and I get to learn, you guys know a hundred times more about cars than I do. So like just watching your videos, it first started out as something where like I'd watch a video because like I was interested in a certain car. So like I would be like, all right, let me, let me, let me watch and see. And then it became into something where I was just like, you guys would say things that I didn't know. And then it just became like a fiend. Like I just, I wanted more, <laughs> I wanted more information. You guys would start talking about the car, whether it's you or Shmi or yeah, yeah. whoever's out. I'm just learning all this stuff about cars to the point where now every morning, every time I go to bed, I sit there for about an hour and a half. It's cut my sleeping time down. I'm sorry. Yes, you, it's your fault. You're, during the season, you should stop right. watching I gotta, me entirely. I, I'm gonna stop watching, <laughs> I gotta like delete my YouTube app. Yeah, yeah. And I just watch all your guys' videos. That's guys. crazy, yeah. that is crazy. Yeah, man, really and now we're here. This right, now we're here. Awesome. I had a Cayenne, that's my history, Porsche. I had a Cayenne GTS. Okay. That's still cool. So that's all you have to do, guys, to get a, uh, <laughs> to get a GT Doors. You pay a lot of just, money and know the right people. Forget the 918 program. Just buy a Cayenne. You'll be all right. I wish. What yeah. about three Cayennes? Man, this thing can really go. Wow. Yeah, the crazy part about the GT2 RS is instead of the GT3, which is naturally aspirated, 
and rear wheel drive. They take the turbo platform and then they get rid of the front drive train so it right. saves weight. Now this is rear wheel drive. Right. And they kind of actually don't try to mask the fact that it's turboed. I guess the person who's in charge of the GT program wanted the GT2 to still feel like it was turbocharged right. instead of like, you know, Ferrari with the 488 is like, we want to pretend that it's still naturally aspirated. Right. So they still kind of incorporate that amazing surge of power and the sounds. But 700 horsepower and rear wheel drive. Yeah, I mean, it's to the point now where I don't know how much farther they can go without safety being an issue. When I wanted, like, my first car, I was like, I'm going to get the 458. It's the last naturally aspirated yeah. mid-engine car. I was like, that's the car I want to start my collection with. Plus, it was a little more affordable than, obviously, this and the uh, TDF and the other cars I have. But I was just like, this is this, that's where I want to start. Um, and it surprised me. I had a 720S, and I sold really? That's the car. Wow, I had. okay. I sold it, and everybody was getting mad. Like, I sold the 720S to get a 458 Speciality. And it was an adjustment because the sound and the feel and the drive of yeah. the 458 is so much, much better. Much better. Yeah. But the speed of the 720S is, is <laughs> yeah. like, out of this world. It's, yeah. it's scary. So, like, I'm like pushing it and I'm hearing it, but like that speed is just like, it's there, but it's not, it's not a, it's not a 720S. Yeah. So, when I saw this and the lap times and everything, it broke. I was like chasing that speed again. I was like, I, I need that type of level of like a drag yeah. rush, like where you're driving this car and you're almost scared. Yeah, no, that's that, what this gives me. That's what this car is all about. It's got the McLaren level of lap times and speed, and then right. the rawness kind of of the Special or a Performante. And just, there's something badass about the Ultimate Edition Porsches. Right. People have a Boxster and they might think that, oh, that's the same Porsche like you were describing, but right. the people who know, anyone who knows a lot about cars, this is like. This right. is the king right now. I was not knowledgeable of Porsches at all. I had to like watch like tutorials on like the Yeah, so how did you Porsches. even find this car? What how did that so, come about? All I knew was Ferrari. That's like okay. all I've ever known. And then I I'll be honest, I I was I couldn't stay in Lamborghini. And then the Performante came out. Yeah. And it opened my eyes up to Lamborghini as yep. a whole. So then I'm now I'm obsessed with like the Mercy yeah, uh, SV. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm like obsessed yeah, with the Mercy right. sick. So like it's like opened my eyes up to all the other other, you know, companies and car uh, car places. So then I started you know, doing research on Porsche because I love the 918. I wasn't going to get one, but I, I just loved it. I saw one in person and the thing looks like it's just Crazy. from a different planet. Crazy. Um, that and the P1 presence. Well, I guess a lot Ferrari is up there too. But those three, I guess the Holy Trinity, yeah, those yeah. three just kind of separate themselves. Um, but anyways, that's what kind of got me in to Porsche to the point where I started doing research on their history of their rare cars. So mm -hmm. as, before I knew about this car, I was going to get the... GT3 RS 4.0. Yep. Uh, that's the car I wanted because everybody's like, it's a super rare car. There's not a lot of them. You know, the white on white wheels yep. and everything. So I was like, I'm going to get that car. And um, I found them online. They're going for like high fours, yep. fives, I guess now. Um, and then someone was like, you should get a GT2 RS. I was like, and their manual. I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. Because mm -hmm. I don't have a manual car. But then I was like, I'm going to wait to get my, my, one of my dream cars is a Carrera GT. Uh -huh. And I want one of those because, you know, the manual. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's where I just it started snowballing. Yeah, I started yeah. looking at all these Porsches, <laughs> and then this one with the record times, and I'm looking on YouTube with the reviews, and everyone's faces when they're driving this. Yeah. I was like, this is the one I yeah. gotta get. This is the one I gotta get. Well, all the reviews I've read on this is that the performance is insane, but it's accessible performance. It actually feels like a pretty decent to drive this car. This compared to my 458 as far as just pure... Just, yeah, we're just, we're this just is cruising around. Yeah, yeah. even, I, I could drive this every day. I yeah. mean, I'm not going to, obviously, but I had to pay over sticker to yeah. get this car, right? Obviously, you know, I think everybody would know. I just said I don't have the ties with Porsche, so yeah, I had to yeah. do that. But hey, it was worth it. I got the car early, and I'm, I'm one of the few driving this around right now. Literally. The only problem is, like, the Senna's going to be like, this was like, you know, mid half a million, right? Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. The yeah. Senna over sticker is going to be like, a million oh, it's, plus it's dollars. Way, it's way more. So it's like, yeah. that's like, I'm just not going to be able to get that car um, unless I spend a lot of money on it, which I still might do because that's how nuts I am with this stuff. But <laughs> I, I might have to just watch you guys drive it for a little bit and maybe see if the market can, you know, go down on it before I get one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is why they call this the Widowmaker. Yep. Yeah, wow. That was sweet. Holy shit. You know what, I'm gonna pull over right in here and I'm gonna let you whip this thing, man. I'm so down. All right. Oh. I hope they don't know. I couldn't find the door handle for like <laughs> 10 minutes. I'm trying to figure out how to turn the AC in here, so I was just sweating my ass out. <laughs> I was stuck in the car. Oh. This 
is crazy. Uh, it actually has a glove compartment. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. That seems like almost an anti-Porsche thing to do. Yeah. Like they I would just remove that instantly. That. But and it has cup holders. You want actual door handles? That'll cost you like forty grand. I'm glad that these are the door handles. No, it's really cool. This the is GT3 so cool, RS man. Does that it makes too. it so much. I love the uh, red too. The yeah. dial. Yeah. Wow. Good. Definitely one concern people had with the GT2 RS was the sound because right. it's forced induction. The GT3 RS revs to 9,000 RPM sounds absolutely ridiculous. But you can't make that car right? any faster. Right. It's maxed right. out. That's as much as you're going to get from that 4 liter motor without blowing it up. Obviously everybody knows like GT2 RS is king over GT3 RS. Yeah. But like, is that like the difference between like the feeling is the GT3 RS like more raw as far as like sound and everything. Yeah, and right. as far as sound, yes. But right. this has stiffer springs than the GT3 RS, and and it, obviously it's much quicker around right. the track. I always wondered why would they make one of those if they have the GT2 RS? Essentially, you know, the cars do look very similar in certain ways. So it's to the naked eye. Yeah, yeah, cars. yeah. If you don't know cars; they look different. Um, I always wondered why they made the GT3 RS. Uh, what the, what the difference is? I'm just yeah. Not... I think it's some purists might prefer the naturally aspirated sound i mean that's one of the best sounding cars ever right. it's also cheaper so they've got a different price range than, than right, this yeah. car and they kind of sometimes skip generations for when they're building a gt2 rs versus a gt3 rs it's Gosh. weird too i'm like back here and i just got traded so i was like yeah i'm walking around and everybody's like oh oh that's a bummer <laughs> that's oh, awkward man, oh. <laughs> but i'm sure that's an exciting and, and i am excited I'm actually otherwise very, you wouldn't yeah. be doing it no i'm very excited about going to dc so it's, it's a the best move I've it's an been. amazing city I, you know my brother went to georgetown uh -huh. um so i'm a little familiar with the area but um you know you get kind of four seasons i guess now it's either hot or cold gotcha he played basketball at georgetown yeah he played basketball there and then now he makes music out here in la there you go yeah that's cool yeah and random it is very random quite the transition <laughs> yeah i'll say but he's making it man it's a tough business hey we got uh what is his name dj diesel shaquille o'neal wanted to be a dj for a bit yeah i mean <laughs> shaq is a police officer a doctor a hall of fame basketball player i mean i don't know how actor, he gets actor golfer an actor golfer sumo wrestler <laughs> he, he's done everything so you're into watches too that's a pretty baller watch um i am a little bit uh it's growing a lot of these tastes are growing and my yeah, financial yeah. budget does not like it. Yeah, no, it's it's I used to disease. wear I went from being like a G Shock to, to a paddock. It was quite the jump. <laughs> yeah. That's like the cayenne to a GT2 RS yeah, jump. I'm, That's I'm hilarious. Just making these jumps, man. Oh every day, every God. week I'm pushing the envelope. That's unbelievable. Right, let's see how this thing goes. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> ah, that's so fast. Oh my god. Wow, that's what a lightweight 700 horsepower car feels like. Holy crap. I don't even know <laughs> what to say. I don't. That's, that's the fastest thing I've ever been in my life. Obviously, I haven't, I haven't drove the, the Senna. Wait. That that pull was, was... Yeah, yeah, stomach dropping. Yeah, that pull was... <laughs> I can only imagine having this on a track. Oh, oh it would be gnarly. It would be gnarly. i got to take this to a track. That's one thing about me. I am a collector, but I don't have like garage queens you know what i mean yeah no that's uh, freaking awesome I'm, I'm gonna drive my car i always wonder why guys do that like if you're gonna spend this type of money on a car then like i'm not saying you have to drive it into the ground but there's got to be like an equal balance of you like protecting the car's value and enjoying it a hundred percent when i see these guys are like 80 so i've seen guys i've met guys who are like 70 something years old and i mean they're they're, they're old and you don't want to like look back and be like i never really drove my car i mean that'd just be a waste of time yeah, at like, the end of the it? day like right you die and sure your LaFerrari is worth 10 million bucks but right. like right I, what I, I, like I didn't drive it I'd rather be the guy who who you know when he's when he's old dies and he drive his LaFerrari to the ground like yeah. I'd rather be that yeah guy. Like absolutely that, all day man uh <laughs> thanks hello I love how I say thanks as if you can hear me yeah yeah <laughs> Jesus, man, this thing sounds so much better than I thought it was gonna be like I knew the car was gonna be fast this is like a different speed. This different is more fast, yeah. than the 720 almost. I mean, it's just like, again, the 720 is just so tamed. This is basically like an untamed version of that. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of basically what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, that one is fast. <laughs> a little too tight, but that, yeah, that, that was going to launch hard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for letting me try this. Oh, yeah, no 
problem. Anytime, you're welcome. Anytime. Oh, man. Anytime. Just hit me up. I'll let you know anytime I get some new whips, man. I'll, I'll, I'll oh, go, yeah. come on over. We can drive these things together. Well, if you're not following this dude on Instagram, I've got it right here. Please, please, it. everyone follow him because yeah. this experience. Thank you, This man. is awesome. Appreciate it. Late in the fourth quarter wasn't gut wrenching enough. Park almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Dude, that thing is so sick. Holy sh well, that was a tremendous opportunity. Thanks again to Austin for making that possible. Congratulations, dude, on taking delivery of a Wise Sock Package GT2 RS in one of the coolest specs ever. Something to note for you keen observers, the wheels on the GT2 RS were not the magnesium wheels. Porsche has a shortage right now, so they're gonna send him the magnesium wheels when those arrive. Those were the normal GT3 RS wheels. Obviously, I didn't get to rip it around the canyons and really show what it's truly capable of. That hopefully, if Austin's willing, we'll do a full review on a later date. I just wanted to give you guys some info on the car. I'm blown away by just that short drive. The performance is out of this world. And honestly, the GT2 RS is gonna be one of those collector's items and go down in history. It's one of the craziest cars Porsche has ever made. And we've got an awesome GT3 RS over there, 997 generation. Those are the ones that came available in a manual, the 4.0 versions with the Metzger motor. That is a classic car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.